Hi guys, welcome back to another Yonder Mountain Adventure. Uh, today, I'm bringing you across to uh, Galloway Forest Park and we're heading out for a wild camp and to test some new kit as well. Promises to be about minus two, minus three tonight, so that should be good fun. So before we lose any light, let's see if we can go and get pitched up somewhere. Folks, we're not a million miles away here. Uh, the weather's fantastic. Certainly not what the forecast was. That makes a change, doesn't it? Um, this particular part, this is part of the Southern Upland Way, which goes from Stranraa, just north of Berwick. Um, and we're picking up part of that route here. Um, and this actually forms part of a circular, a five mile circular, which goes around Loch Truel, which is where I am here. And according to the map, I think I've only got a couple of hundred yards to get through these trees and uh, head out onto a little bit of a peninsula here, which is where I'm going to set camp. Uh, so, looking at the sunset here, I've, I've probably got about an hour or so, so uh, let's make haste, we'll head along this path. Well, lesson learned, never jinx the weather. It's actually raining now. <laughs> Unbelievable. It was a glorious summer's day before. Never mind, uh, we're in the woods on the peninsula. The spot that I wanted, got some other happy campers there, uh, which is fine. I've got another spot here, which has obviously been used by somebody else or a few people. There's just, people have had open fires all over the place. And there's litter. So I'm gonna do a quick sweep tomorrow before I go and pick up some of the crap that's been left around but otherwise I'm gonna uh, we'll get pitched up I'll show you where we're at here bit of a, a flattish area here and like you can see I mean people have obviously had quite a big fire they've even left the left that cooking tray man dear god what a beautiful place look at this Lock true folks. Stunning. Right, let's get this tent up. The wind's starting to whip in now as well. Yeah, let's get this done. Well, folks, that was nice and quick. Nature hike, Cloud Peak 2. I've got a visitor in my tent. I don't know if you can see that, guys. I'll swing you around. You after some food, mate? You've come to the right place, believe me. Yep. Looks like we've got a companion for the night. Little Robin coming to visit. He must be after some bait. I'll give him some. I'll give him some food later. Yeah, nice and easy to set up. Um, solid structure. You can move it around as you've seen. It's just a good solid bit of kit and not expensive either. I think I paid. I think I paid 140 for it. Absolutely spot on. Um, and today, 
I've come over to Galloway Forest Park um, for a couple of reasons. A, it's beautiful. B, it's not too far to go. But um, I want to test out some new kit today as well. Um, and I've got a new sleeping bag. And the forecast is meant to be getting down to minus two, minus three tonight. Um, now, I've had the Evolution EV400 OEX bag, four season bag. It's been great. But once it gets down to minus two, you start to get quite cold around the hips. So I've upgraded um, to the OEX Leviathan. 900 uh, and it's a real great bit of kit um, now tonight is its maiden voyage so we'll see how it fares but I'll um, I'll just give you a quick look around uh, the very basic setup that I've got okay folks so great sized vestibule packed with all kinds of stuff I've actually got a firebox with us so this is the sleeping bag Leviathan 900 Great bit of kit, it's a down bag, and it says it's comfort rating is down to um, minus nine for the comfort rating, uh, which is going to be absolutely ideal. So I'm going to really put, uh, hopefully put that to the test tonight, uh, but it does look very, very good. Underneath, guys, uh, just a, a foil mat, gives you a little bit of insulation. The mat itself is the Trekology UL80 inflating mat uh, it's curved that one which is great for side sleepers which I am uh, we've got the Ulof pillar which again is a great bit of kit and then of course the Leviathan and uh, just a, a basic set of kit the most expensive thing there was probably the actual sleeping bag itself um, to go along with the um, the inflating mat I got the flex tail gear inflator which is this thing here, up the show you. Um, and what happened was I had it in its uh, in its sack, and obviously as I've been travelling or hiking, probably what's happened is that's been turned on, so it's actually dead, so it's actually on charge at the minute. Um, I've got uh, that's getting plugged up to me uh, to me power bank. It just goes to show how important it is just to bring to bring extra um, extra power with you as well. So that's the setup. Absolutely, uh, absolutely great. And it, it, it's not expensive. It's 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 basically budget stuff. Budget stuff. So I'm going to get a cuppa on the go, and uh, just get myself kind of settled down for the night. Uh, temperatures probably coming in around about two, two or three degrees at the minute. So it's quite uh, it's quite balmy actually. There's not much wind. It's been a little bit changeable, but there's been a bit of rain and there's been beautiful sunshine earlier on. Bit of a mixed bag so far. What a fantastic setting! I'll give you a walk around a bit later on, but I'm just going to get some water from the uh, from the lock. I'm just going to uh, yeah, just going to top up some water uh, so we can uh, we can make a brew. Cheers everybody, what a fantastic way to make a cup of water from the lock about as pure as it can be through the filter Like I said that was only, it was it was cheap, it was like a tenner give or take, something like that I'll put the link uh, in the description uh, for you, uh, it was just an Amazon purchase So I'm just going to, uh, I'm going to soak up this and just get this cup of coffee down us uh, Actually the temperature's not too bad you know And yet again this is paying dividends, there's plenty of room in this Nature High Cloud Peak 2 it's just a great bit of kit, um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna enjoy this. I'm just gonna do a little bit of admin, just get some of this tidied up a little bit, get my system uh, up and running, and um, have a look at what we've got for uh, have a look at what we've got for tea tonight. The trusty orange bag. We know what that means. Yeah, really good. Looking forward to that. Some Wayfarer meals and what have you. Um, a little bit later on, I'll just give you a little bit of information about the um, about the Leviathan 900. And I've also got um, a sleeping bag liner as well, just to give us double protection. So I will really put that to the test tonight. But in the meantime, folks, what I'm going to do is, dusk starting to come in, we're losing light. Um, there's not a breeze, absolutely not a breeze at all. Um, I've brought the firebox with us, and um, somebody had left um, a bacon tray in a massive fire pit, which they've dug and just left all that crap. 
So I'm gonna um, I'm just gonna use the baking tray as a base for the fire pit, and then when I'm done with it, I'll take it home along with some of the other litter, which is uh, which is around and about. So no further ado, let's get this fire lit and uh, enjoy watching the buff bushcraft telly. Well, it's that time again. Tea time. The most exciting part, isn't it? <laughs> it's getting cold now. Very, very cold. I'm deliberately trying to keep the temperature down in the tent because I want to really put this Leviathan to the test tonight. Um, there is now ice in the water bottle uh, as well. Uh, but I'm going to get some uh, some tea on the go. It's another Wayfarer, I think. Actually, it's a double whammy tonight. And uh, I'll show you what we've got. There we go. Hopefully you can see that. Coconut chicken curry, wayfarers. That should be uh, that should be pretty good. We'll see what it's uh, see what that one's like. Yeah, that looks all right. That, and uh, and we've actually got a dessert tonight as well. Chocolate pudding. Oh yes, that'll do. Uh, that'll do very very nicely. Perfect. Let's see what this is like. That looks pretty good. Oh, that's warm, man. It's very warm. I forgot my gloves, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> that's a sock. And incidentally, put one of these little warming pads in. Perfect. Anyway, back to business. Let's see what we're dealing with here. It smells coconutty, which is a good thing, really. Mm, it does smell coconutty. Well, let's go. Oh, that's quite nice. Let's give it a go. Hmm. Certainly plenty of rice. You'll not be able to make that out, but maybe you can. Mmm. Big bits of chicken. Fantastic. Life's good, ladies and gentlemen. Crosby's still in Nash. Wow, that is absolutely red hot. Chocolate pud. Let's give it a go. Oh, you can just instantly smell the chocolate. But I need to activate this sock. <laughs> there we go. Instantly, just much better. Right, let's have a look here. Oh, oh my god. Have a look. That is tremendous. That is absolutely lovely. Absolutely beautiful. I'm just going to turn um, turn the guys down. Yeah, that is um, what a game changer. I wouldn't normally have um, have had a dessert, but um, mm. yeah, that is very nice. 
Well, that was tremendous. What a game changer that is. That chocolate pud has really warmed us up. And the curry, really, really good. Um, right, I'll, um, I'll swing you around and I'll show you the, I'll show you the Leviathan. Right, guys, here we go. Uh, so this is the OEX Leviathan. It's the uh, EV900 down sleeping bag. Um, fantastic, I've got to say, from what I've, uh, what I've seen of it uh, so far. A couple of things that I really, really like. I mean, all down bags are thick, but this lofted up very, very quick. Um, on the inside, you've got neck baffles, which are super thick padding. And what you can do is you can... You've got two drawstrings on here, one for the hood and one for the neck baffle. And when you're all wrapped up, you can really cocoon yourself in there, which is exactly what I'm going to be doing tonight. Um, very, very thick bag. The only thing that I would say, a little niggle, that could have upgraded the zip, although it's got the quite thick seams uh, on there. What happens is because it is so fluffy, as you can see there, um, you've got to be careful when you're pulling the bag because sometimes you do get little snags and you can even see little bits of thread there. Um, that's that's really the only niggle that I've got with it. Um, I've also um, got an OEX Thermolite and it's the Furnace 8 Plus. This is a sleeping bag liner. And I really got this to... Um, to try and protect this bag so it lasts that little bit longer um but in fairness it's going to add a little bit of temperature as well uh, which would be absolutely great so that's um just gives you a little bit of a rundown of the bag itself right that's me done and dusted uh, hopefully you found that um interesting and helpful about the bag just in case you are interested in one um, I'll put more of the details in the in the description, uh, and I'll tell you how it performs through the night as well. It's uh, it's cold, very very cold, so it should be a good test. Uh, so I'm just going to chill out now. I'm going to listen to some music, listen to uh, probably an audio book, and uh, I'm going to nod off, and uh, hopefully, fingers crossed. I never know how to cross my fingers anymore. Um, anyway, uh, hopefully, I have a good night's sleep and wake up. We've got a uh, got a bit of breakfast. And uh, we'll see what the weather's like, and I'll show you around the I'll show you around the camp. So, um, good night, everyone. See you in the morning. Beautiful morning here in Galloway Forest Park. What a stunning place. And what a comfortable night. Um, despite the minus three conditions through the night. And actually the wind picked up as well, so it might have been a little bit colder. Um, the new sleeping bag performed fantastically. Those neck baffles are great. Had them really quite tight in and the hood up. I was just warm all night. Um, it was absolutely fantastic. I, I ended up having a really good sleep. Um, probably better than most nights at home to be honest so um, I think that's testimony to the bag um, I think it's a definite recommendation for the certainly for the first uh, attempt with it anyway uh, very very impressed it's a very calm morning you can hear the loggers up on the side of the mountain there um, they were they were they started early doors they started about six o'clock um, ah, they had an early start but it's beautiful and calm. I've just had some breakfast with my little mate there, the little Robin. And uh, he's had a bit of porridge, so have I. Uh, and a cup of coffee. And uh, I'm just about to strike camp. And uh, and head home. Uh, which is a shame. It would have been nice to have an extra couple of days here. But, uh, but never mind. So I'm going to sign off, folks. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed the adventure. Uh, I know I have, that's for sure. What a cracking little spot this is. And I'll, be, I'll certainly be back and maybe for a spot of fishing as well. Um, it's absolutely beautiful. Yeah, there's nothing like a bit of prescription nature, is there? Forget about Facebook, forget about Instagram, forget about the news, forget about the telly. 
newspapers, all of that carry on. Get yourself outdoors, come and enjoy the wilderness and just get a nice reset. It makes a world of difference. Okay, folks, that's me signing off for now and uh, I hope to see you on the next Yonder Mountain Adventure. Bye for now. <laughs>